Hi, my name is Paweł Spechalski and today I will really show you something pretty amazing. But first things first. Do you know that if you fly an Sky Gear with uh, Air or X-Series, you have the telemetry downlink? Sure you do, because if you use OpenTX or and Betaflight and maybe INAV, you use probably you use Lua scripts to change the settings on your flight controller. But this is not all. This is not all. The smartphone telemetry that it's downloaded from the flight controller to the radio and then also allows to upload comments from the radio to the flight controller um, handles more. Handles more because, for example, for example, it also has the GPS coordinates, the power usage, the uh, what else, the altitude, and, and stuff like that. But until very, very recently, there was not really a simple way to use it. Because, so, how? How? The showing a map of something on the display of your radio, that kind of doesn't make sense. And when you are flying slightly further away, maybe with the altitude, and posi altitude hold and position hold, you not always use FPV all the time. Maybe sometimes you would just like to take a look at your... Um, at the screen of your tablet or Android uh, phone or whatever. Um, but there was really no way to get the telemetry from the radio to the sensible and useful and working application on Android, for example, until now. Because now we have something awesome. A guy, a dude, a crazy dude, uh, wrote an application that allows you to decode the um, what well, decode the telemetry that you are getting to your radio. And by the way, do you know that all the R and X series receivers has the telemetry output over here, here on the you see over here on the oh this is this is also part of this 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 this, this, this setup and they just output this. You only have to get it like always. Inverted because oh, first guy really inverted. Ah, connect the Bluetooth, and you're done. Let me show you exactly, exactly how. Before we will be able to get any telemetry from your R9 or regular Taranis or or Horus, we will have to get some special hardware because a the signal that it's outputted on the smart port pin is inverted. That means most of the hardware we can use is unable to use it. So we will have to build an inverter and also get and configure the Bluetooth module. For example, the cheapest possible HC05. How to do it? Mm, you either have a choice. You can either go to my website, Quad Me Up, where I show how to connect Bluetooth to Clean Flight years ago and Flip32, or how to build a small inverter, in unidirectional, unidirectional, yes, unidirectional inverter, or look for any inverter around the web, or just go to the GitHub repository of the Crazy Dude Android Tarani Smartport Telemetry application we will be using, and look at the manual for the hardware and connection. There is a very simple uh, diagram for the simplest, really simplest ever inverter based on one resistor and one MOSFET transistor. Super cheap, super small, really. And basic soldering, because you only will have to solder the stuff to the HC05 Bluetooth module. Task for like, I don't know, half an hour tops. You only will need some cables and transistor and the resistor soldering iron soldering soldering iron and and some basic skills plus plus some oh i hc06 not hc05 my bad anyhow but before um, you will do the soldering of the inverter you will also need a serial to ttl converter and a basic application to configure the hc06 because we will have to change the baud rate from default 9600 to the 
57,600, if I remember correctly. Set the name of your Bluetooth device you will be using to use your smartphone to connect to your to get your telemetry and uh, and and that's all. Another task for like 10 5 minutes stops. The description is in the description of this video. There are links so anyone with at least basic really basic knowledge how to use com serial port will be able to do it. And then when this is done, when the HC06 is configured, the inverter is built, you only have to go to the Google Store, get the free, I love free applications, I really love free applications, I love Smart Port Telemetry Viewer and Logger, download the app, run it, like, like where, like, oh yeah, it's here, run it like that, focus, ah, and click. Connect. Connect. Choose the, the Bluetooth device and you are done. How it works? How it works in the real time? Right now, somewhere here or here or somewhere else, you should be seeing an overlay what the application does during the flight. I was having fun with one of my flying wings here and there, flying left and right, and the application was indeed updating the position and the altitude and the voltage of the of my flying wing in almost a real time. There is a noticeable delay. From time to time, especially with my model was slightly further away, it was noticeable that it was slowing down, the update rate was not so great. I suspect that this is because the R9 system over here is really losing like the frequency of the telemetry updates over the time and the farther you go the the lower the lower the telemetry rate but still if you are not like flying a hundred kilometers like I am or for example just using this around a few hundred meters you should be really 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 fine. It's maybe not that uh, fast and and, um, and the detail to really fly by your instruments um, who knows? Maybe. Well, come on. Uh, you only have to try. I remember I, I very like flying by the instruments, but with the dedicated telemetry downlink node with this smart port piggy bank telemetry. Either way, it's working. It, if you if you would like to see where your UAV a drone or airplane is in almost a real time without using extra telemetry, extra telemetry downlink, using free application and you have an Android, this is really something awesome. You should try it. You might not be able, you might not be using this all the time, but you should try it because it's fun. Yes, I like the experience very much. Also, the uh, I also designed a small enclosure, 3D printed enclosure that can be just put on the back of your Eversky radio that holds both the inventor, in, no, in, not inventor, inverter and the HC06 module. Uh, you just also should be some, somewhere here around. So it's free. It's for you. It's there. Thank you, crazy dude. Amazing, amazing. I had very, I, I had this idea like two years ago. I started writing application. I only did the um, smart pod and decoding and getting the telemetry, but never really proceed further to, for putting this on the map. Thank you for, for doing this great, great, great job. I'm, I'm a huge fan right now. Improve this application and yeah, great. Okay, thank you very much. That's all for today. Until the next one. Bye-bye.